that noise. Get in the chat. Get in the chat. is the default. I can't meet you. Ah, okay. So what can you see? Ah, okay. Can you see the game? Hey! Alright! off-putting because I can't see my own face but I guess that's a good thing because that would also be off-putting so <laughs> yeah no nah. this is the sole almost like this is almost exclusively <laughs> for the purpose of you watching me play Mass Effect <laughs> Nah, nah, it's cool, man. All right, anyway, I got the face wrong yesterday, so I'm gonna Welcome start again. Welcome to Alliance Military Database. Classified information requested. Establishing secure connection. Secure connection. This confirmed. is the uh, like the UI that's um, updated. Please log in to access your profile. Profile reconstruction complete. You can hear the game sounds? Yeah, yeah, it's cool, right? Um... Please log in to access your profile reconstruction complete. How did it? Please log in to access your profile. Oh, I'm a dingbat. Please log in to access your profile. Warning. I always keep Data the default corruption name. I like detected. The default Please name. reconstruct profile. Confirm pre-service history. Hmm, that's good to know. Yeah, it seemed like there were a lot of options if I wanted to have like a custom overlay and like have all of these. Yeah. Anyway. Um. <laughs> What, with like three people or something? Really? Oh, like, no, that was the joke. Okay. Oh, that's fun. Um. Should I play as colonist or earthborn? I really like both backstories. Spacer is a little bit lame. Colonist. The TLDR is that your whole family was slaughtered, except for you. And then, um, Earthborn is that you, like, raised yourself on the streets and then joined the military. With Confirm Earthborn. psychological profile. It, which is funny because Earthborn and Soul Survivor are, are the default characters as well, but I also like to play as Soul Survivor. Confirm military specialization. I started playing as an engineer yesterday, but I got to admit, didn't love it. Um, because I'm not, I don't love the tech abilities, I prefer the biotic abilities. So it's just, think of this as like space magic there's basically like uh there's gun <laughs> uh technology and magic <laughs> so double gun <laughs> um no this would be double gun this is like double tech this is double magic because uh, everyone can use pistols right infiltrator is gun tech so you can use sniper rifles. Uh, Sentinel is magic tech. Uh, so that, I think that would be actually kind of fun to play with. And then Vanguard is gun magic. <laughs> um, I used to always play as gun 
tech because the sniper rifle is really fun um but later on i played with the the magic <laughs> so i might i might play with gun magic do we have a gun magic yeah um they specialize in pistols and shotguns. I don't love the shotguns, but that's fine. I can just play with... I suppose if I'm just going to play with a pistol, maybe I can play with just biotics, which would be really different for me. Let's do it. Confirm do it. facial identification. No, I change this and... I can never really get the nose right, so I'm going to find a preset that has a nose. Hey, here she is! Ah, hi. Okay, I'm just going to change the hair, basically. Oh, I might change the eyes a little bit too. Um, eye shape is fine. I'll just change the colour. Um, the shape is fine. I like the default one. <laughs> this is it's it's you're making me laugh too much. Go be here. Hard to get her to face straight anyway. Um, head is fine, we'll leave it as that. Nose. I think I left it as mostly all of the presets the first time that I played on this particular preset head. I don't know how I stumbled across this preset head, but now it's just look straight ahead. <laughs> no, just thank you. <laughs> but now it's like the only one that I like to play with. I think I had like this colour yesterday and it was a little bit too dark. That's a bit too light. That's not so bad, right? Um, anyway, she always like gotta have the big bun on top of the head. And then there's this one brow that's like one raised eye. It's there, this is it. But in the lighter colour. There we go. Is that the brow that I normally play with? Maybe it was this one. I mean, they all, I mean, it's an eyebrow. This really shouldn't be something that I'm thinking about that much. That, that looks kind of fine. Um, no, no lipstick. All the lipstick looks weird. Just a little bit of blush, there we go. And then one up from nothing, there we go. The eyes are freaking me out a bit. Is that like an eye preset? Yeah, there we go. Wait, that, that doesn't seem right. Are you gonna watch? Yes. Yeah, you gotta watch it live. No, I don't, I don't care if you don't watch it live. No, 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 you can watch it later. That's the point, right? <laughs> there we go. She looks like way more human today. Sounds good. That's the nose. Could, oh, that's not the nose. Is that the nose? Is that the, I think that's the... No, that doesn't look right. I'm spending way too long on this when it doesn't really matter. No, that's not the nose. Maybe, is that the nose? That also, it's a little bit too wide. 
I'm spending way too long on this. That's not the nose. That's not the nose. Is this the nose? That's a nose. You know what? That's that nose is good enough. Is that the one? Was he saying that's the one? Oh my god, I can't. I think this is it. This looks very much like the shepherd that I remember, so I'm gonna go with it. Yeah. Profile reconstruction. I don't know if I wanna play as an adept though. I suppose I only ever play with pistols. And biotics is a lot more fun, I feel like. Although it would be good to get some help with the hacking in the first game, because it kind of sucks a little bit. Ooh, I'm at an impasse. Confirm facial identification. Confirm okay. military specialization. Yeah, okay, this is okay. No, not double gun. This is what I started as yesterday. And I didn't like it. Too many, too many techie skills. But the last time I played through the whole game, I played as um, Adept, and it was pretty fun. Because I played around more with the powers. And I like to use my squad mates for the other things, but then... These are like the two polar opposites of each other almost as well. I don't know why I started the career as engineer yesterday. I think in my head I thought that was something else, but anyway. Um, let's go with Confirmed the Confirmed facial identification. Profile reconstruction complete. I guess I'm gonna play as adept. Identification Squad. confirmed. Leave it on normal. Yeah, squad only. Now this is the bit I didn't get. We used instead of the new one to thirty level range. Yeah, I went back to adept. Are you, are you still watching? <laughs> well then how is it different? Do I just cap out at 30? How can we have half the amount of levels but the XP and talent point progression remain the same? I just I don't understand. I'm just going to leave it. Um, yep, yeah, defensive, subtitle, yeah. Shepherd's a survivor. Is that the kind of person we want protecting the galaxy? That's the only kind of person who can protect the galaxy. I'll make the call.
Prime relays in range. Initiating transmission sequence. Commander. We are connected. Calculating transit mass and destination. The relay is hot. Acquiring approach vector. All stations secure for transit. Thrusters, check. Navigation, check. Internal emissions sync engaged. All systems online. Drift, just under 1500k. 1500 is good. Your captain will be pleased. I hate that guy. Nihilus gave you a compliment. So you hate him. You remember to zip up your jumpsuit on the way out of the bathroom? That's good. I just jumped us halfway across the galaxy and hit a target the size of a pinhead. So that's incredible. Besides, specters are trouble. I don't like having them on board. Call me paranoid. You're paranoid. The Council helped fund this project. They have a right to send someone to keep an eye on their investment. Yeah, that is the official story. But only an idiot believes the official story. And they don't send specters on shakedown runs. So there's more going on here than the captain's letting up. Joker, status report. Just cleared the mass relay, Captain. Stealth systems engaged. Everything looks solid. Good. Find a comm buoy and link us into the network. I want mission reports relayed back to Alliance Brass before we reach Eden Prime. Aye, aye, Captain. Better brace yourself, sir. I think Nihilus is headed your way. He's already here, Lieutenant. Tell Commander Shepard to meet me in the comm room for a debriefing. You get that, Commander? He sounds angry. Something must have gone wrong with the mission. <laughs> Captain always sounds like that when he's talking to me. Can't possibly imagine why. <laughs> okay. Right. Uh, I think there's any... I told you, I just saw him. He marched by like he was on a mission. The Spectres are always on a mission. And we're getting dragged right along with him. Relax, Presley. You're gonna give yourself Navigator an Navigator Presley sounds cranky. Congratulations, Commander. Looks like we had a smooth run. You heading down to see the captain? I heard you guys arguing. Sounds like you don't trust our Turian guest. Sorry, Commander. Just having a chat with Adams down at Engineering. I didn't mean to cause any trouble. I know. But you have to admit, something's odd about this mission. The whole crew feels it. You think the Alliance Brass is holding out on us? If all we're supposed to do is test out the stealth system, why is Captain Anderson in charge? And then there's Nihilus. Spectres are elite operatives, top covert agents. Why send a Spectre, a Turian Spectre, on a shakedown run? It doesn't add up. So... Usually the extra dialogue options are here on the left. And I'll usually do all of them, like all of the optional dialogue. And then normally um, the gameplay is quite binary, like the choices. So you either choose to play like the good guy or Paragon, which is usually uh, in this upper selection or down the bottom. Oh, I'm talking to you. <laughs> Or uh, neutral, or ends the conversation, or then like the bad guy. Um, I can't even remember what that's called. Anyway, but I, I play as Paragon. But I don't think there was. I can't even remember what I chose here. So we'll go what do you know about the stealth systems? I just know it masks our location from scans and sensors. Cutting edge technology. The Normandy's the only ship with this prototype drive. But why are we fully staffed? 
The skeleton crew would be cheaper, less chance of security leaks, too. Plus, there's Nihilus. It's pretty obvious this shakedown run is just a cover. For what? Damned if I know, Commander. We're out here on I false think pretenses. I've actually I'm not a fan through, of being like, left in the these, dark. Um, dialogue options before. Like, even with stealth systems, I had, like, multiple choices in, in what to do with my follow-up. Do you have a problem with the captain? No, ma'am. But I can't figure out what he's doing here. Captain Anderson is one of the most decorated special forces officers in the service. If he melted down all his medals, he could make a life-size statue of Captain himself. Captain Anderson, someone that you hangs don't around send a soldier series. like that and on I a do-nothing mission. He's like treating him. the shakedown run too seriously. Something big is going on. You don't trust Nihilus. I don't like Turians in general. It runs in my family. My grandfather fought in the first contact war. Lost a lot of friends when the Turians hit us. So for context, the first contact war was like the war that happened when humans first contacted with uh, aliens, which in this case is Turians, and we'll meet a Turian very soon. Uh, and so there is some uh, deep-seated, I don't know, hatred between the two species. That was 30 years ago. You can't blame Nihilus for that. No, I guess not. But it still makes me nervous to have a Spectre on board. Especially a Turian. We're an Alliance vessel, human military, but Nihilus doesn't answer to the Captain like the rest of us. Spectres operate outside the normal chain of command. And they don't come along just to observe shakedown runs. <laughs> Nihilus looks like he's expecting some heavy action. I don't like it. So you'll notice that they keep talking about spectres. Spectres are like um, special agents that operate outside of the normal running of things. And then the council think of it as like, I don't know, galactic UN. Uh, but there's a lot of foreshadowing here regarding um, how spectres operate. And that will become clear why as well. I'll see if I can get some answers when I see him. Good luck, Commander. I probably won't go to the Codex. I grew up on Eden Prime, Doc. It's not the kind of place Spectres visit. There's something Nihilus isn't telling us about this mission. Oh, everyone's That's sus crazy. on Nihilus. The captain's in charge here. He wouldn't take orders from a Spectre. Not his Good choice, Good point, Doc. Dr. Chuckless. What do you think, Commander? We won't be staying on Eden Prime too long, will we? I'm itching for some real action. I sincerely hope you're kidding, Corporal. Your real action usually ends with me patching up crew members in the infirmary. You need to calm down, Corporal. A good soldier stays cool even under fire. Sorry, Commander, but this waiting's killing me. I've never been on a mission like this before, not one with a Spectre on board. Mm, maybe you will find some action down on uh, Eden Prime. Just treat this like every other assignment you've had and everything will work out. Easy for you to say. You proved yourself on a coups. Everybody knows what you can do. This is my big chance. I need to show the brass what I can do. You're young, Corporal. You have a long career ahead of you. Don't do something stupid to mess it up. Don't worry, ma'am. I'm not gonna screw this up. I feel like that's good advice no matter what. You're from Eden Prime, aren't you, Jenkins? What's it like? It's very peaceful, Commander. They've been real careful with development, so you don't have any city noise or pollution. My parents lived on the outskirts of the colony. At night, I used to climb this big hill and stare across the fields back at the lights from the main settlement. It was gorgeous. But when I got older, I realized it was a little too calm and quiet for me. That's why I joined the Alliance. Even Paradise gets boring after a while. Any idea why Eden Prime was chosen as our destination? Not really sure, Commander. Eden Prime's one of our most stable colonies. Good place to take the Normandy for a shakedown run, I guess. No real danger there. There's got to be something else going on. We've got a Spectre on board. That's why I'm so wound up. I can't wait for the real mission to start. I feel like I need to Google what a shakedown mission is. Like, so I'm thinking, like, are we shaking somebody down to, like, make them nervous? Why would we do that to Eden Prime? It is a human colony. Um, but anyway, it's somewhat irrelevant after this. The captain's waiting for me. Goodbye, Commander. So I just got two, another two Paragon points. I'm going to actually have a look to see if I can level up yet. Because... Yes, I can. So I've got three points. I'm going to chuck them all into Charm, uh, which opens up my uh, dialogue options. And that actually comes in handy in this first, um, for, you know, tutorial mission even. So that's what I'm going to do. Okay, I'm glad I chose this because I like all of these 
most of these um, powers. So I guess, yeah. I never used to play as Adept, but last time I did, and, and it was really fun, so... Okay. Um, this is the fun... Oh, I love this galaxy map, but we can't open it yet, but anyway. Oh, this is gonna be really fun. I'm excited. This is a Turian. Commander Shepard, I was hoping you'd get here first will give us a chance to talk. The captain said he'd meet me here. He's on his way. I'm interested in this world we're going to, Eden Prime. I've heard it's quite beautiful. They say it's a paradise. Yes, a paradise. Serene, tranquil, safe. Eden Prime has become something of a symbol for your people, hasn't it? Proof that humanity can not only establish colonies across the galaxy, but also protect them. But how safe is it, really? Does this guy always talk in riddles? Do you know something? Your people are still newcomers, Shepard. The galaxy can be a very dangerous place. Is the Alliance truly ready for this? I think it's about time we told the Commander what's really going on. This mission is far more than a simple shakedown run. I think everybody knew that at this point. I figured there was something you weren't telling us. We're making a covert pickup on Eden Prime. That's why we needed the stealth systems operational. Why couldn't... why didn't you tell me? There must be a reason you didn't tell me about this, sir. This comes down from the top, Commander. Information strictly on a need-to-know basis. A research team on Eden Prime unearthed some kind of beacon during an excavation. It was Prothean. I thought the Protheans vanished 50,000 years ago. Their legacy still remains. The mass relays, the Citadel, our ship drives. It's all based on Prothean technology. This is big, Shepard. The last time humanity made a discovery like this, it jumped our technology forward 200 years. But Eden Prime doesn't have the facilities to handle something like this. We need to bring the beacon back to the Citadel for proper study. Obviously, this goes beyond mere human interests, Commander. This discovery could affect every species in Council space. So for context, uh, I can't remember what year it was, I think it was 2149 in the law of Mass Effect, but don't quote me on that, um, that humans discovered, is that when we discovered our first mass relay, or potentially some other Prothean artifact on Mars, and then that's what kind of triggered uh, all of, like a cascade of events about technology advancing, uh, making headway into space, uh, first contact, etc. Uh, because we stumbled across this Prothean technology. Uh, and the the background is is that generally uh, advanced life forms, they don't find each other and then join uh, the council until they find this technology. Like that's the that's the catalyst of that next level of advancement of a species. and and we made that circa 2149. Why didn't we keep the beacon for ourselves? You humans don't have the best reputation. Some species see you as selfish, too unpredictable, too independent, even dangerous. Sharing that beacon will improve relations with the council. Okay. Plus, we need their scientific expertise. They know more about that the Protheans than we do. The beacon is not the only ready. reason I'm here, Shepard. Nihilus wants to see you in action, Commander. He's here to evaluate you. Guess that explains why I bump into him every time I turn I around. Why? The Alliance has been pushing for this for a long time. Humanity wants a larger role in shaping interstellar policy. We want more say with the Citadel Council. The Spectres represent the Council's power and authority. If they accept a human into their ranks, it shows how far the Alliance has come. Not many could have survived what you went through on Akuz. You showed a remarkable will to live, a particularly useful talent. That's why I put your name forward as a candidate for the Spectres. Why would a Turian want a human in the Spectres? Not all Turians resent humanity. Some of us see the potential of your species. We see what you have to offer to the rest of the galaxy, and to the Spectres. We are an elite group. It's rare to find an individual with the skills we seek. I don't care that you're human, Shepard. I only care that you can do the job. I assume this is good for the Alliance. Earth needs this, Shepard. We're counting on you. I need to see your skills for myself, Commander. 
Eden Prime will be the first of several missions together. You'll be in charge of the ground team. Secure the beacon and get it onto the ship ASAP. Nihilus will accompany you to observe the mission. Uh, I don't think we need to talk about any of this other stuff. Just give the word, Captain. We should be getting close to Eden. Captain, we got a problem. I've What's wrong, Joker? Transmission from Eden Prime, sir. You better see this. <gasps> What's going on? Bring it up wrong? on screen. Now remember, this is supposed to be a paradise. Get down! out after that no calm traffic at all it just goes dead there's nothing reverse and hold of 38.5 hmm. this feels significant status report 17 minutes out captain no other alliance ships in the area take us in joker fast and quiet this mission just got a lot more complicated a small strike team can move quickly without drawing attention it's our best chance to secure the beacon. Grab your gear and meet us in the cargo hold. Tell Alenko and Jenkins to suit up, Commander. You're going in. Oh, well, Jenkins will be pleased. He finally gets to see some action. This Engaging beacon stealth will systems. be pretty important if we're willing to jump in there. Somebody was doing some serious digging here, Captain. Oh. Your team's the muscle in this operation, Commander. Go in heavy and head straight for the dig site. What about survivors, Captain? Helping survivors is a secondary objective. The beacon's your top priority. Approaching drop point one. Something tells me that the beacon... Nihilus, you're coming with us? I move faster on my own. Nihilus will scout out ahead. He'll feed you status reports throughout the mission. Otherwise, I want radio silence. We've got his back, Captain. The mission's yours now, Shepard. Good luck! Something tells me that we are approaching drop point two. So important that perhaps I can go off script and make rescuing survivors my top priority and still manage to get away with the beam. Ship perimeter secure, Commander. Okay. Uh, which way are we gonna go? This looks like backwards. This place got hit hard. I'm not really getting paradise vibes. Getting like uh, farmland vibes. Hey, that might be someone's paradise. You never know. I can hear gunfire. Not a good sign. What the hell are those? The gas yes, bags. Don't you know worry, they're they harmless. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna leave them alone. Oh God, what happened here? Yeah, it looks like this. A lot of fire. So, Mass Effect has this cool mechanic where you can kind of um, pause the combat to like switch weapons, use powers, etc. It's actually really fun. Um, in the newer game, they sped it up. Oh, I wish that. Um, so it wasn't completely paused, it would just slow it down. But I miss this older style of. Um, completely pausing. It just kind of makes it a little bit more tactical. Like <gasps> Jenkins! Ooh. Jenkins! Okay, we lost Jenkins, our squad mate. So, um, that's a shame. Why were we so immune to it? 
We'll see that he receives a proper service once the mission is complete. But I need you to stay focused. Aye, aye, man. Poor Jenkins. Anyway, there's usually a crate around here somewhere for me to pilfer some items. Did I... did I misremember? that you're running ahead bro but okay sure Gunnery Chief on. Ashley Williams uh. of the 212. He the one who charged your ma'am? Are you wounded, Williams? A few scrapes and burns. Nothing serious. The others weren't so lucky. Oh, man. We were patrolling the perimeter when the attack hit. We tried to get off a distress call, but they cut off our communications. I've been fighting for my life ever since. Where's the rest of your squad? We tried to double back to the beacon, but we walked into an ambush. I don't think any of the others... I think I'm the only one left. This isn't your fault, Williams. You couldn't have done anything to save them. Yes, ma'am. We held our position as long as we could, until the Geth overwhelmed us. The Geth haven't been seen outside the Vale in nearly 200 years. Why are they here now? They must have come for the Beacon. 
The dig site is close, just over that rise. It might still be there. We could use your help, Williams. Aye, aye, ma'am. It's time for payback. Seems Have you seen Nihilus a Turian Spectre around here? There aren't any Turians on Eden Prime. None that I've ever met. Not sure I'd be able to tell if one was a Spectre anyway. If you saw this guy, you'd know. Carries enough firepower to wipe out a whole platoon. Luckily, just noticing he's that Kaden's not holding a gun, but sorry. Hands like I said, no Turians. I'm not sure this remaster. Move up! Did they forget little things like that? Maybe it's just a glitch. Um, anyway. Yes, yes, I'll go to the squad menu. Give me a sec. The beacon's at the far end of this trench. I wonder if you always get the same things. Yeah, it looks like you do. Annoyingly, no gun. Anyway, we will do what they are asking for. Yes. Welcome to the team. Hello. Yes. Great. So, you can only use pistols, and we don't have any pistols. Um, yeah, sure. Put you. Uh, I suppose that's a better armor. I should probably wear it. As much as I like wearing the uh, N7 armor, which is like the human military, I suppose. For lack of a better description. Okay, that's. Ew, God, it's ugly. Anyway, it's more protection, that's all that matters. I think I saw that we have some face grounds. Sweet. And the other people can deal with what they've got, and we don't have anything else. Let's go. Sam, what you look like. artificial um, being, I suppose. Oh, there's a pistol in here. I will take that. Can I just take one? Yes. I don't care about the sniper rifles. The Omni Gel is useful for things later, so I'll hang on to it. This is the dig site. The beacon was right here. It must have been moved. Mm. By whom? Our side or the Geth? Hard to say. Maybe we'll know more after we check out the research camp. You think anyone got out of here alive? If they were lucky. Maybe hiding up so. in the camp. It's just on the top of this ridge, up the ramps. Foreshadowing regarding survivors. Change of plans, Shepard. There's a small spaceport up ahead. Okay. I want to check it out. I'll wait for you there. You keep running ahead of us, man. Like, it's really sus. Looks like they hit the camp hard. It's a good oh. place for an ambush. Keep your guard up. These things look gruesome. Are they human or are they synthetic? Oh, God. They're still alive. What did the Geth do to them? Oh. I don't want to find out. Oh, there's more. 
But wait, there's more. Buddy, hey, oh, he's a strong one. Does he count as well? I guess he counts as synthetic in some way because that hit him hard. Okay, I thought there was three of them, evidently not. Oh, that fire hurts you. I don't know if it always did that, but it does now. Uh, shotgun, don't care. Maybe you don't always get the same thing, and that's why I'm misremembering certain stuff. That door is closed. Let's see what's in here first. Crate. Oh, there's people in here. So this is the fun little hacking system. Whoops. Humans. Thank the maker. Hurry, close the door before they come back. Don't worry. We'll protect you. Thank you. I think we'll be okay now. It looks like everyone's gone. You're Dr. Warren, the one in charge of the excavation. Do you know what happened to the beacon? It was moved to the spaceport this morning. Manuel and I stayed behind to help pack up the camp. When the attack came, the Marines held them off long enough for us to hide. Yay, survivors. They gave their lives to save us. No one is saved. The age of humanity is ended. Soon, only ruin and corpses will remain. That sounds intense. What's wrong with your assistant? Manuel has a brilliant mind, but he's always been a bit... unstable. Genius and madness are two sides of the same coin. Is it madness to see the future? To see the destruction rushing towards us? To understand there is no escape? No hope? No. I am not mad. I'm the only sane one left. I wonder if I that's I gave him an extra dose of his meds after the attack. See, Did Nihilus you notice a Turian in the area? I saw him, the Prophet, leader of the enemy. He was here, before the attack. That's impossible. Nihilus was with us in the Normandy before the attack. He couldn't have been here. So it sounds like there was another Turian. I'm sorry, Turian. Manuel's still a bit... unsettled. We haven't seen your Turian. We've been hiding in here since the attack. Well, I believe him that there was another Turian. Williams, take us to the spaceport. You can't stop it. Nobody can stop it. Night is falling. The darkness of eternity. Hush, Manuel. Go lie down. You'll feel better once the medication kicks in. Oh, poor guy. Uh, you guys should probably get yourselves out of here. This place seems not great. Oh, we're hitting a cutscene. Oh, Nihilus. <gasps> and another Turian. Saren. He looks almost part Geth. Nihilus. This isn't your mission, Saren. What are you doing here? The Council thought you could use some help on this one. Hmm. I wasn't expecting so to find the Geth down. The situation's bad. Don't worry. I've got it under control. Oh, sorry if I gave that away. Sounds like <laughs> sounds like Saren just shot him in the head. What is that? Off in the distance. What do you mean? What is that? You're a oh 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 god oh god. The shot. You of all people should know what a shot sounds like. Auto aim. Seems like it doesn't 
I just need to get ahead of myself, which is also fine. That's okay. I'll just wait for my shields to come back up. Oh, Caden's almost dead. Uh, how do I heal? Not with that, it would seem. That was something else. Uh, that was melee attack. I do not remember how to heal. Oh well. Sounds like a someone else problem, because my shields are fine. There was a quick way to do that rather than clicking. Anyway. Our shields are back. Who are we shooting now? Is there something oh there's still something over there? It's times like these, a sniper rifle should come. Hey there, buddy. Dead? Yeah, he's dead. Alright, sweet. Ooh, another crate. So, the reason I'm collecting Omni Gel is because these kind of things, like you can just override using Omni Gel. Um, but while it's kind of easy, we'll just do it ourselves. Where's a good spot? Oh. Everybody stay calm out there. We're coming out. We're not armed. Is it safe? Are they gone? You're okay now. Nobody's gonna hurt you. Most Those survivors. things were crawling all around the shed. They would have found us for sure. We owe you our lives. Ah, uh, I still can't believe it. When we saw that ship, I thought it was all over. It showed up right before the attack. I knew it was trouble the second I saw it. So we made a break for the sheds. Tell me everything you remember about the attack. The three of us were working the crops when that ship showed up. We just saw it and ran. I don't know what happened to the rest of the crew. So this is fine. They were by the garage, over near the spaceport, right where that ship came down. No way they survived. You don't know that! We survived! If they made it to the garage, they could have had a fighting chance! Do you know anything about the Prothean beacon they dug up? We're just farmers. We heard they found something out there, but it never really mattered to us. Not until now. What else can you tell me about the ship you saw? Yeah, that thing I was, was too busy freaky. running to get a clear look at like it. A big I think it landed over near the spaceport. Tell them about the noise, Cole. That awful noise. It was emitting some kind of signal as it descended. It sounded like the shriek of the damned. Only it was coming from inside your own head. It was probably trying to block communications. Whatever it was, it felt like it was tearing right Very through my skull. Response. Almost made it impossible to think. I have to go. Hey, Cole, we're just a bunch of farmers. These guys are soldiers. Maybe we should give them the stuff. Jeez, Blake, you gotta learn when to shut up. <laughs> you have something to tell me, Cole? Some guys at the spaceport were running a small smuggling ring. Nothing major. Just a small in exchange for a cut of the profits, we let them store packages in our sheds. You're breaking the law, Cole. We're not hurting anybody. Hell, most of the time I don't even know what's in the packages. Just thought there might be something we could use. I found a pistol. Figured it would come in handy if those things came back. But you'll probably get more use out of it than we will. Cool, so because I upgraded my charm before, I can now unlock uh, this dialogue. So you'll notice that I can't do this one. That's like the intimidate option. Uh, but I can use the charm option because I'm playing Paragon, right? Uh, and if, let's say, both of these were grayed out, I would just have to say, like, thanks or give it to me. But this implies that maybe there's more to it, so it's good to have at least one of these avenues unlocked. We're risking our lives to save this colony. You sure there's nothing else in here that could help us out? Yeah, there's one more thing. I was gonna sell it after this was over, but you probably deserve it more than I do. Who's your contact at the spaceport, Cole? What's his name? Jesus. He's not a bad guy. I don't want to get him in trouble. Besides, I'm not a snitch. He might have something to do with this whole attack, Cole. I doubt it, but... We need his name. It's important. Yeah, okay, you're right. His name's Powell. Works the docks at the spaceport, if he's still alive. I don't know if anyone's still alive. I have alive. to go. Good luck. 
so we'll uh, check the squad because it looks like we've leveled up again. Yeah, so shield boost, yes please. Uh, and I've got three more points. That's to unlock pistols. Lift is pretty cool. Singularity is pretty cool, but I can't unlock those until quite a lot later. Barrier is uh, more defensive. Maybe I'll just chuck it all into Adept for now to just be like better at everything. Maybe I'm overthinking it. No, I suppose the more powers we have, the, the more we have. So let's unlock that and then we'll throw uh, the rest in to Adept. Uh, Renegade is what the other option is. So I usually play Paragon. Uh, Renegade is like the, you know, playing like bad cop, so to speak. You can, um, I think they call it like Paragade or Renegon or something, where you kind of play both, but I feel like that way you miss out on um, the benefits of really going all in one way. So I just go all in. Okay, that pistol is not that good. Got no armor upgrades. I've already applied the pistol upgrade, so I'll just be done with it. And, oh. oh, pistol. Yeah, I'll take that. Oh, I'll take both of those. That must have been the other equipment that he gave us. Oh, that pistol's way better. So you must get different stuff. That's kind of cool. And a combat sensor is great because if there's um, enemies that jam your signal detection on your like little mini map, then that will um, negate that, which is great. And I like playing with Ash because she is a double gun. So I'll I'll see if there are any better weapons for her. No, okay, don't care. Let's keep going. Is this are we going the right way? Yeah, here we go. Let's find our dead friend. Sorry, Nihilus. It's Nihilus. Something's moving over behind those crates. Wait! Don't don't oh, shoot! Ow. I'm one of you! I'm human! The dock worker who is doing a little bit of the crim. Sneaking up on us like that nearly got you killed. I am sorry, I was hiding from those creatures. My name's Powell. I saw what happened to that Turian. The other one shot him. I need to know how Nihilus died. He literally the other just one told got you. here first. He was waiting when your friend showed up. He he called him Saren. Okay, well that's I, helpful. I think they knew each other. Your friends seem to relax. He let his guard down, and Saren killed him. Shot him right in the back. Picked up on a lot of that nuance I'm from just lucky he didn't behind see me behind the, the crates. Uh, behind the crates, man. We were told a Prothean beacon was brought to the spaceport. What happened to it? It's over on the other platform, probably where that guy Saren was headed. He hopped on the cargo train right after he killed your friend. Interesting. I knew that beacon was trouble. Everything's gone to hell since we found it. First that damn mothership showed up. Then the attack? They killed everyone. Everyone. If I hadn't been behind the crates, I'd be dead too. So that sounds like it all happened really, really fast. Like, they found this thing, alerted everyone, we're on our way with Captain Anderson, and then in the meantime, that claw mothership thing has come down and all of this chaos has ensued. So that sounds like it was super fast. Um... They killed everyone, everyone. If I hadn't been behind the grates, I'd be dead too. Then... How come you're the only one who survived? Yeah, how did that Why happen? didn't anyone else try to hide behind the crates? They never had a chance. I, I, I was already behind the crates when the attack started. Wait a minute. Mm -hmm. You were hiding behind the crates before the attack? I... Sometimes I need a nap to get through my shift. I sneak off behind the crates to grab 40 winks where the supervisor can't find me. <laughs> you survived because you're lazy? 
If you hadn't snuck off for that nap, you'd probably be dead just like all the others. Yeah. Yeah, I guess. I don't really want to think about it. You're Cole's contact here on the docks for the smuggling ring. What? what? No! I mean, what does it matter now? So I'm a smuggler, who cares? My supervisor's dead, the entire crew's dead. It doesn't matter now, does it? No, but I want Anything weapons. hidden nearby that we could use against the Geth? A shipment of grenades came through last week. Nobody notices if a few small pieces go missing from the military orders. Oh, you greedy son pieces. of a bitch! We're out here trying to protect your sorry ass, and all you can think about is how you can rip us off? I never thought you'd actually need those grenades. Who'd want to attack Eden Prime? We're just a bunch of farmers. How was I supposed to know? Uh, lame. Forget about him. He's not worth it. You're lucky the commander's here, pal. Hand over those grenades. Otherwise, I'd kill you. They're yours. Take them. A... My smuggling days are over, I swear. I'm in the military. A lot of Marines died here, Powell. Those grenades could have come in handy. If I were you, I'd think of some way to make it up to them. Yeah, uh, okay. There is something else I was saving. Could be worth a fortune. Experimental technology, top of the line. It'll just be some, like, Take basic it. upgrade. I don't need it. I didn't want anyone to get hurt. Really, I'm sorry. We need to find that beacon before it's too late. Take the cargo train. That's where the other Turian went. I, I, I can't stay here. I need to get away from all this. Where are you gonna go, man? Yeah, so the grenade upgrade, I will take that. So, Ashley, good to know that if uh, I wasn't here, you would just go around, like, killing civilians. Probably, you know, that's why I like to take Ashley with me. Because uh, she does all the things that, like, you won't do. Like, kill civilians. Uh, sometimes you need to do those kind of things, so I guess... Good to have you on board. Uh, you can have the radioactive rounds, even though that really won't be that useful in this mission. Um, I feel like I don't need this anymore. Um, and that's not a very good one either, so I don't need that. Nothing else. Maybe the music is playing. Did we upgrade again? Oh, we did. Sweet. Alright, this is just what the skills that they are. Okay, let's go. Something around here. Oh, hi there. Hi, hi. Whoa. Oh, so that's how you heal. Just figured that out. Oh, and I have swapped guns without wanting to. You should go ahead and. No, actually, you can keep I think I need a shield boost. Something just got me in the shield. Who did that? Oh, it was you! Death Destroyer is like running. That throw did absolutely nothing, so that's good to know. Kind 
die. She's not careful. Uh, like, Hayden's almost dead. We're literally on the cargo train. Okay. So we have to run the whole way up here. I don't think there's any more. Okay, let's go. Go, go, cargo train. We're almost at the end of this mission. Set the charges. Destroy the entire colony. Leave no evidence that we were here. Right, so they're gonna blow the place up. He's giving Geth orders, so that's interesting that Saren's giving Geth orders. Mesmerized by the beacon. Oh! Okay, interesting. So they're gonna blow this place up? Not a my much. Right, just the usual. Demolition charges. The Geth must have planted them. Hurry! Can we need you, to find like, them all. Shut them down. While I un um, Yeah. 
actually shortcut across the top here. Okay, well, good to know. So I think this is the final stages of this tutorial mission. Oh, is there something down there I missed? I do, oh, I was going to say, I do my due diligence and I get nothing. No, I get a weapon upgrade and an armor upgrade. Fantastic. That's precisely what I wanted. Hard and weave. Fantastic. I'll give that to Ashley. Take that out of there. Because I like her to use this weapon. Uh, yeah. Sounds good. I'm hoping there's no more enemies. So we can holster for now. That's the that's the beacon. But once again, I will do my due diligence and see if there's anything worth nothing up here. But I saw something. This looks like a nice 
open space. Boop, 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 boop. Shotgun, don't care. I'll take the assault rifle just in case it's useful for Ash. It does do 15 more damage at the cost of other things, but I do have a heat sink upgrade. Um, radioactive 15% cooldown reduction or toxic. Yeah, radioactive I think is better. And then I'll still take those. Yeah, sweet. Okay. Let's go see what this beacon's all about. It is making a weird noise, isn't it? Normandy, the beacon is secure. This is amazing. Actual working Prothean technology. Unbelievable. It wasn't doing anything like that when they dug it up. Something must have activated it. Roger, Normandy. Standing by. Caden? Caden. What are you doing, bro? This is why I don't take you on missions, man. identified the ship that touched down on Eden Prime, the Normandy, a human alliance vessel. It was under the command of Captain Anderson. They managed to save the colony. And the beacon. One of the humans may have used it. they got away, why did they just take the beacon with them? And she was talking really weird, like, um, very, and a human Doctor? managed to touch Doctor it. Doctor Chakwas, I think she's waking up. Almost like she's not speaking for herself. You had us worried there, Shepard. How are you feeling? Okay. Minor throbbing. Nothing serious. How long was I out? About 15 hours. Oh. Something happened down there with the beacon, nice I think. Nice long nap. It's my fault. I must have triggered some kind of security field when I approached it. You had to push me out of the way. Oh, that's not you had fault. no way to know what would happen. I just happen. won't take your missions anymore. Actually, we don't even know if that's what set it off. Good point. Unfortunately, we'll never get the chance to find out. The beacon exploded. A system overload, maybe. And the blast knocked you cold. Williams and I had to carry you back here to the ship. Ah, oh, thanks for that. I appreciate it. Physically, you're fine. But I detected some unusual brain activity. Abnormal beta waves. I also noticed an increase in your rapid eye movement. Signs typically associated with intense dreaming. 
I was dreaming, McGonagall. I saw... I'm not sure what I saw. Death, destruction... Nothing's really clear. Hmm. I better add this to my report. It may... Oh. Captain Anderson. How's our exo holding up, Doctor? When all the readings look normal, I'd say the Commander's going to be fine. Glad to hear it. Shepard, I need to speak with you. In private. Aye, aye, Captain. I'll be in the mess if you need me. What happened? Well, I suppose the whole Sounds like that beacon hit you pretty hard, Commander. It? Are you sure you're okay? Someone died. Uh, like one of my soldiers died. One of the Spectres died. <laughs> the one who was evaluating me. And another Spectre is possibly uh, turned. Oh, and the thing that we came there for, the beacon, I, you know, I exploded it, so... I don't like soldiers dying under my command. Jenkins wasn't your fault. You did a good job, Shepard. Oh yeah, where's that? Did we leave Gunnery Chief Williams back on Eden Prime? I figured we could use a soldier like her. Yeah. She's been reassigned to the Normandy. Williams is a good soldier. She deserves it. Lieutenant Elenko agrees with you. That's why oh, I added her to he? our crew. Intel dropped the ball, sir. We had no idea what we were walking into down there. That's why things went to hell. Yeah. I guess hadn't been outside the veil there. in two centuries, Commander. Nobody could have predicted this. You said you needed to see me in private, Captain? That response was really I won't off like character you, for me, too. Things look bad. Nihilus is dead. Yep. The beacon was destroyed and Gether yep. invading. The Council's going to want answers. You know what? That's fair. <laughs> I didn't do anything wrong, Captain. Hopefully the Council can see that. I'll stand behind you and your report, Shepard. You're a damned hero in my books. Oh, That's thanks. not why I'm here. It's Saren. That other Turian. Yeah. Saren's a spectre. One of the best. A living legend. But if he's working with the Gith, it means he's gone rogue. I get the feeling a it's less working trouble. with and more Saren's taken dangerous. over by. And he hates humans. I don't think I don't think his hatred of humans was the uh, why he was there though. He didn't come to Eden Prime because he hates humans. He's really annoyed about that. You're beacon, right. Though. Saren has allied himself with the Geth. Also, we know I don't that know how. now. I don't know why, but it had something to do with that beacon. You were there just before that beacon self-destructed. Did you see anything? Any clue that might tell us what Saren was after? Uh, kind of. Just before I lost consciousness, I had some kind of. Vision. A vision? A vision of what? Look, it's funny, because when I first played through this, and still now, I feel like that vision was not clear at all. But our character seems to have a um, very clear idea of, of what they actually saw. I saw synthetics. Geth, maybe. Slaughtering I, people. I didn't see that. Butchering them. I just saw a bunch of red. We need to report this to the Council, Shepard. <laughs> Hi, Council. So I had um, a vision. What are we going to tell them? I had a bad dream? We don't know what information was stored in that beacon. Lost Prothean technology? Blueprints for some ancient weapon of mass destruction? Whatever it was. Weapons Saren of mass destruction. But I know Saren. I know his reputation is that politics. Really puts this game in time. He believes humans are a blight on the galaxy. This attack was an act of war. He has the secrets from the beacon. He has an army of Geth at his command, and he won't stop until he's wiped humanity from the face of the galaxy. Wow, okay, that's like... we escalated quickly. I'll find some way to take him down. Yeah, we'll, It's we'll not that easy. It. He's a specter. We'll make me a specter. He can go and anywhere, then... do almost anything. You know, that's why I'll we need the council it. on our side. Hey, Eddie. We prove Saren's gone rogue, and the Council will revoke his Spectre status. I'll contact the Ambassador prove that, though. and see if he can get us an audience with the Council. He'll want to see us as soon as we reach the Citadel. We should be getting close. Head up to the bridge and tell Joker to bring us into dock. I think we'll leave it there. You hungry, Eddie? Me too. Yeah?